Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how to change the light switch in your house. So here I have this light switch that is not working correctly. I want to change it. This is a double light switch as you see. But the instructions I'm going to show you also apply to other light switches. First and the most important thing, and I cannot stress it enough, is that you need to cut the power to the switch that you want to change. So if you don't know what is the breaker that cuts the power for the switch, cut the power from the older house. But before cutting the power from all your house, let me tell you that please make sure that you have no devices that maybe go wrong or like critical devices that you shouldn't cut the power on, like maybe medical devices. So this is up to you. But the most important thing is that there is no power anymore on the light switch. So this is what I'm gonna do first and then I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. So here I have the circuit breaker in my house. And I know already what is the breaker here that cuts the power. So I'm going to do this now. And you're going to notice that the lights will dim. So let's zoom in now and start the work. The first thing you need to do is to remove the cover. And the cover here is held by a screw. That to remove it, I need a flat head screwdriver. So this is what I got. Do not discard any of the things you remove. Maybe you'll need them. After you remove the cover, you usually have two screws that hold the light switch. So remove these also and depending on the type of screws, use the corresponding screwdriver. So here also with my flat head screwdriver, I'm doing this. And when all the screws are removed, pull a little bit on the light switch. It should go out easily and you have the electric wires that are connected to the light switch as you notice here so make sure to note where are the electric wires installed and do not touch any of the electric wires with your hand and this is even if you cut the power and this is also important and I forgot to say that it is also very important to wear rubber shoes so that you will not be a good conductor for electricity so here I have on this side like this the white and the red and on this side I have only the black here so I'm gonna show you the new light switch now so this is a new light switch and you notice here that it has also two screws and it has two screws here so I'm gonna unscrew here the screws that hold the cables and using a plier I'm gonna remove the cable gently I'm gonna remove it like this so here's the cable removed so let me remove these two screws here also and remove the cables so the screws don't remove completely so I unscrew them as much as I can and once again using the plier I'm gonna remove the cables do not like pull hard on the cables they have a hook usually, so I just remove the hook and remove the cable. So now this is the new light switch. I'm going to simply tear up the cardboard. And I need to unscrew here the screws. And notice here it has like a bolt. I'm going to remove it because there's a bolt here. I don't need this one here. So to put back the wires, if you have like a small head plier, it is better. So I'm going to put like the U here on the wire, like this, and then just hook it to the screw. It should hook to the screw, like this, and now I need to tighten the screw. So it's important to put the first wire this way, the wire will hold the switch. Make sure the wire goes under the screw. This is important, just tighten it good. Do not over tighten it, this is enough. And now you see that the wire is holding the screw. Let's do the same for the white wire now. Also, as I said, do not touch the wire with your hand. Here I'm gonna use a screwdriver to turn the wire around the screw like this. And then I'm gonna tighten it. Now it is tight. So now let's put this wire on the screw here. So let me untighten the screw. And here I'm gonna put this as a hook. So, so I'm gonna hook it to the screw now. And now let me tighten it here. Careful not to touch any of the wires. I repeat, even 
though that the electricity is cut. So now everything is installed. I'm going to tidy up everything inside and put one of the screws and test it. And then I assemble everything. So tidy up everything inside like this. Careful not to pinch the wires. So using the screw here, I'm going to put the first one on the upper side. Do not over tighten it. This is enough to test it. So now I'm going to put the electricity back and test it. So this was a faulty switch before. And notice how now it is working very good. And everything is working. So now I'm going to cut the electricity once again. And I'm going to put the screw on the bottom of the switch now. So this is tight enough like this. If it is not like well aligned, just align it by your hand. For instance, for me, I should align it a little bit like this. And tighten it. And this is enough for me. So this is a new cover. By the way, if you want to check out this switch, I'm going to leave a link in the description on Amazon. This is an affiliate link if you want to check it out. And also, if you want to subscribe to my channel, it will really help the channel and it will be really appreciated. So the cover has a screw already. I'm going to just put it here and screw it on. It's important for the cover not to over tighten it because it might break here in the middle. So now I brought the electricity back and here are the switches working. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was useful to you. So please be careful whenever you work with electricity, always cut the electricity and always wear rubber shoes and always touch the wires with a plier, never touch the wires with your bare hands. You never know if even if you cut the power, maybe you didn't cut it correctly. I'm Eloy, see you in the next video.